What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're gonna learn how to set up PayPal checkout, also known as PayPal Express checkout on a WooCommerce store. Now you may have seen my PayPal standard tutorial and I'll put that you know in the cards above, but this is for PayPal Express checkout. So the first step is to get this plugin. It's free on the WooCommerce store. I'll put this link in the description box below and any other links I say in this video, you can find in the description box below. Okay, so grab this plugin, just go through the, the checkout process to get it for $0 and then download it. So I already have this plugin and I am gonna download it, right? So I'm gonna download it, cool. And now I'm gonna go to um, my WooCommerce store, the WordPress dashboard and I'm gonna go to plugins and I'm gonna add new and I'm gonna upload this plugin. Where is it? There it is, okay, cool. And I'm gonna install it and then I'm gonna activate the plugin. Cool, and then now I'm gonna come down to um, PayPal, where is it? PayPal checkout gateway. And I'm gonna go to the settings, okay? and I'm gonna enable the payment method. And um, when you come here, you'll see that I need to get these API credentials that I have right here. This live username, this live API password, and this live API signature, okay? Like the live API certificate and live API subject, those are, um, those are optional, okay? And this plugin just released an update too where you can also click and go through kind of like, I believe it's an OAuth thing to get um, your credentials without having to like go through this process. But I'm gonna assume that you have to go through this manual process just because it's easier to see and I'm gonna go through this process. So I'm gonna go to my PayPal um, account and if you don't have a PayPal account, you need to get one or get a business account to use it. So I'm gonna log into my PayPal account and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna trim this screen down. Okay, and I'm gonna go to account settings. And I'm gonna go to, um, from account settings, if you guys can see here, account settings. And then I am gonna go down to website payments. Okay, right here, website payments. And then I'm gonna go down to API access. And I'm gonna click update. And similar to PayPal standard, um, you are going to be getting this MVP SOAP uh, API integration classic. Um, it's really important. I think this is a big step that people miss out on is they see like four different API credentials to get from PayPal because they have so many like products, even on WooCommerce and they have like five different ones. Um, but this is the, you're gonna be looking for the MVP SOAP API integration classic. Okay, so you click manage API credentials and then you're gonna be able to see this username, password, and um, signature, okay? And you need to copy this. So like right here, copy, and then paste it right here. And I'm not gonna show my password or signature. Um, you know, there could be people out there, but who knows? Um, so you just need to copy your API password, API signature, and paste it here, okay? And then after that, like right away, I would go and I would save my changes. Okay, so now you have that set up and now let's go through some of the settings. So um, environment, it's gonna be live. If you wanna do a sandbox account, I will put something above right now for how to set up a uh, PayPal sandbox account. If that's something that you wanna do and I highly recommend it. And then as we keep going through the settings, this is just an example site that I have for Charlie's Coffee. And then for a logo image, I do not have a logo that's 190 times 60. I could crop it down, but for now, I'm just gonna upload um, an image that I just, the height of this logo was 60 pixels, so I just said the max height was 60. If the width is not 190 pixels, that's fine. I'm just gonna use this. Um, you, you know, you can try different other logos too, and it probably won't move the needle. Okay, and then you can add a header image. I'm just, for the sake of the story, I'm just gonna keep going. And then the invoice prefix, this will be like WooCommerce hyphen. If you have multiple WooCommerce stores, you might, that are all using one PayPal account, you might wanna change the invoice prefix so they're separate on different stores. And then um, required billing address, I don't, um, 
that's fine. I'm only gonna, I only want a shipping address just in case I'm, I'm shipping stuff. I don't need to require a billing address because all I need to know is where I need to ship the product because PayPal is handling the transaction. And then um, required phone number. I'm not gonna require a phone number. You can if you want to. Um, and then the, the payment action, I'm gonna do sale. So instead of like, I always wanna just like get the money now. I don't wanna like uh, authorize the payment and then maybe have to charge the sale at a later date. I wanna charge the sale right now rather than um, authorize the payment and then do it in a different date. That's what authorize would do. So I just wanna get the sale right now for people that check out. And then instant payments. Um, I'm going to keep that on. I don't want to do, um, I believe this is, uh, yeah, checks. I don't want to have people be writing checks. So I want instant payments. And then the subtotal mismatch behavior. Um, I'm just going to do don't send line items to PayPal. I don't um, necessarily use PayPal for like, uh, for inventory tracking or anything like that. So I am just going to not send line items to PayPal. And then I want to use the smart payment buttons that they have. So um, I'm just gonna keep the gold. You can use a different, you know, choose your color, keep all the default um, shapes. And um, this funny method for credit card, this is just for PayPal specifically. If you put this hide funny method for credit card and you're also using Stripe or authorize.net, you also can see those links above for how to set up those payment providers. Um, so this is just hiding the credit card with PayPal. It's not like gonna hide your authorized.net or Stripe or other payment processor that you're using. And then I'm going to enable PayPal checkout. Um, um, actually, I'm not gonna enable PayPal checkout on the card page. I'm just gonna do an example setup, but I'm gonna enable on the single product page. And then um, you could do horizontal. I wanna make it responsive. And then enable PayPal credit, sure. If people want to, I think PayPal is rolling out like, um, you know, like financing and people, if people want to do that, they can, I don't really care. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm just going to save changes. Cool. So now if I go back here and I go back to my store and if I go and I go to the shop page and then I go to, um, a sample product, you can see that the PayPal options um, are right here on, on the single product page. And if I go back to my PayPal settings, and I'm just gonna bring this back up just so they're right next to each other. I save. So I'm just gonna go back to my PayPal settings for a second and I am just going to disable this PayPal credit option. Just, just, just to show you what it would look like. And now if I update it, it's just gonna be PayPal. So um, I know there's also a setting where they have, um, if I turn this back on and I wanna go um, vertical, And now they'll go vertical instead of horizontal. So, um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna switch that back to horizontal. And of course, if I disable this from being on um, the single product page as well, and I come back to my product here, and I refresh the page, and I add this product to the cart, And I'm just going to check out. And I'm going to continue payment. And as you can see, I have the PayPal options right here. Okay. And um, I won't be able to use this payment method. You can't, um, I can't use my own email. My own email is in my PayPal account. I can't use this. Um, to check out with PayPal, so it's it's not gonna work. I have to have like a friend use it or use like a sandbox account to test it. But essentially the best way to do this would be to, uh, you know, create another PayPal, like just a personal account with a different email address and just go through the checkout process. But essentially, yep, that's um, PayPal Express checkout. 
Um, remember to um, get the plugin, find it in the description box below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, have a great rest of your day and like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe. Awesome, have a great day guys, peace.